Hey guys, welcome to the Dig Your Dream podcast, the official podcast show of The Guy in the Tie. I'm your host, Ray Digme, and this is your daily dose for Thursday, December 5th. That's right, my daily dose. The small segment of the show where I try my very best to pass along some quick, cool content with the hopes of leaving you both inspired and motivated to get out there and chase your dreams. Well, today, as you can see, I'm not doing it solo again. I have a special guest, my man, Tyler Smarslock, joining me here today to talk about something super important. Today, we're gonna talk about the importance and the power of self-talk. That's right, the words that you tell yourself really do matter. The words that you tell yourself matter. And what I mean by that is this. If you talk to yourself in a positive way, you're gonna see more positive results. If you beat yourself up, if you tell yourself that you can't do something, if you tell yourself a negative term or word, you're actually gonna start to believe it. You're gonna believe that you can't. You're gonna believe that you won't. Trust me when I tell you, I'm trying my best to learn how to talk to myself in a more positive way. Although I'm a very positive person, there are a lot of times where things don't go my way or where I fail at some something or I stumble, I start talking to myself negatively. I'll say to myself, Ray, you're never gonna get it. Ray, you're not smart enough. Ray, you're not talented enough. Not realizing that those words do matter, that I am actually teaching myself to believe those words. So remember, self-talk is super, super important. And I have experience with that being a pro athlete, being a college athlete. What you tell yourself can really help take you to either a good place or a bad place. You're absolutely right. And I think, you know, I think the one thing that kind of boils down to is more times that we, we want to talk to ourselves, but we don't know how to, right? We want to learn how to do it, but we don't. Naturally, the mind is going to listen to itself. Right, so you end up listening to the thoughts that end up creeping in or the things that people have told you because you're listening to other people. Mm -hmm. So somebody's told you, oh, I don't know if you're good enough for that or I don't know if this is something that would be smart to do. Um, you're listening. And the only person that's got control over your thoughts is you. So if you're going to continue to listen to all that stuff, you're not talking. Um, you can talk to yourself. And sometimes you can tell yourself some things that are a little bit scary and you know some things that are maybe a little bit too far down the road or whatever, but that's okay. It's okay to be a little bit crazy in that yeah. regard and, and, and talk to yourself in a positive way. And I think really what it, what it kind of goes to is like people say, um, well, hopefully I can do this one day or, um, yeah, well, maybe, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that. Yeah. Like, no, I, I will. Yeah, I can. It's, it's the words that you use. Right. Yeah. So, um, I'm not good enough. Right, I'm not good enough. Well, what can we add? What, how can we change that sentence? Yeah. I'm not good enough yet. Yeah. Right. Like I'm not good enough yet. Is, one little word can change is so much. Pretty powerful. And I think you know when we get into self talk, you want to be real with yourself yeah, at the same time. There's no question about it. But you can um, you can tell yourself what you want to be. Right. If you know what you are currently and you're mm -hmm. not what you want to be, that's okay. That's that's a lot of people. Yeah. Hopefully, that's everybody. Yeah. Really. Um, but if you can tell yourself what you want to be, okay, maybe I'm not good enough at this right now. Right now. Right now. I will be though. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give you a quick example. Um, you know, uh, a couple examples, sports and just life. Like, you ever hear somebody say, I'm just not good with money. Mm -hmm. And I'll be honest, I, I've said that in my younger years. I'm Definitely just not good that. with money. Mm -hmm. And most times the people that say that, they're not good with money. Mm -hmm. And they don't realize that they have been teaching and convincing themselves that they're not. Yep. But to your point, if you say, I'm just not good with money yet, mm -hmm. what you're doing is you're kind of changing the narrative that it's about to change. I am mm -hmm. about to get better with money. Same with like uh, sports, like we were baseball players. Mm -hmm. I remember I used to tell myself, if I had two strikes against a good pitcher, I would say, don't swing at the curveball. What are you gonna do? If you swing at the curveball, you're gonna strike out. What happened the very next pitch? Mm -hmm. I swing at a curveball in the dirt. You know, sure. and I think, listen, it's very hard to always be positive. It's very hard to, you know, really, really say the right things to yourself all the time. But if you're intentional about it, if you make a point to say, you know what, I am only going to say positive affirmations to myself. Mm -hmm. I am only going to use positive language. You're going to see huge res results happen quickly. Okay. You just alluded to, to it. I can and I will. And I think that if more of us said I can and I will every single day, we're gonna see a lot, a lot of improvement. For sure, yeah, it's um, it's putting things out there in the yeah. world. Like if you put out negative connotations, yeah. like negative things are gonna happen. Yeah. And if you can consistently put out positive energy and positive self-talk and and it, it all starts to boil its head into a really mm -hmm. positive result. Mm -hmm. um, 
And I, I think when you can put things out in existence like that, uh, you're, you're being vulnerable at the same time too. Yeah. And that's where you can also learn a lot. So if you're going to tell people, you know, you want to tell your, tell somebody that you, you know, believes in you, or you know, that, you know, isn't going to, you know, necessarily tell the entire world yeah. about something, but if you want to be something, go, go tell somebody yes. that that's, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I want to be. Um, if you keep it all in, like you, you're a lot of times we're okay with letting ourselves down. Yeah. And we don't, you wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to let you. Yeah. Down. So course. if I tell you, I want to do something like I'm going to do it. Yeah. Right. And if you can, if you can learn that for yourself, if you can to, to learn to, to talk positively yourself, put things out there and, and follow up on them. Pretty cool things happen. hundred percent, hundred percent. It's so true. You can, you can talk yourself into becoming what you want. Okay. You know, I, I don't think that there's a coincidence that when I was little, young, and skinny, and not very good at baseball, mm-hmm. I just tell people that I was going to play college baseball, and I was going to play pro baseball. Mm-hmm. And um, did hard work and sacrifice and discipline play a part in that formula? Of course. Absolutely. But the fact that I told myself that every day for so many years, I convinced myself that, mm-hmm. that it was going to happen. And just like you with your, your coaching career and your playing career, you talk positively, those things, you're going to find yourself getting to the words that you were saying. Mm-hmm. So on this daily dose, guys, in this daily dose, self-talk matters. So on this Thursday, on this December 5th, do your best for the rest of the day to say something positive to yourself. Tell yourself that you can. Tell yourself that you will and see what happens. I can almost guarantee you that something positive is going to follow that statement. And then tomorrow, start right away. Right when you wake up, tell yourself it's going to be a good day. Mm-hmm. Tell yourself you're going to be super productive at work. Tell yourself something awesome is going to happen in one of your relationships. And I'm almost positive that it will. So that was your daily dose for Thursday, December 5th. The importance of self-talk. Like I always say, whether it's one, 1,000, 100, or a million of you that end up watching or listening to this podcast, just know you are the one reason I love to do it every single day. So for my man, Tyler, this was your daily dose. Until tomorrow, you know what you have to do. Get out there, tip your cap, and dig your dream.